Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamara Todd and I'm a pro makeup artist from London. In this video I'm going to show you five of my favorite red lipstick combos. Let's get to it. The first lipstick combo I want to show you is the Limbo's Pencil in Dressy Lips and Pat McGrath Lipstick Obsessed. This Limbo's lip liner is super super strong. It's very waterproof. So once it goes on, it literally stays there. You can see the color. Ah, oh, the color is so intense. You can actually wear it on its own if you like, because it doesn't even need a lipstick on top. But I like to pair this one with Pat McGrath because Pat McGrath formula is more like velvety and it doesn't stay for a very long time, which I think when you're doing a red lipstick, it actually has to be bulletproof. For this reason, paired up with this lip liner, it's literally bulletproof. Yeah, this liner is so creamy, it goes on really easy. Once it's on, it stays there, it's perfect. Another cool thing about this uh, lip pencil, on the back of it, it has like a little um, sharpener that if you wanted the edges to be a little bit sharper, you can just do this and then it sharpens it. If you are somewhere out and you don't want to carry in your purse um, a sharpener, this is actually brilliant, really convenient, like user friendly. Now that I have that red lip on, uh, the makeup from my previous video is not matching it really well. So I'm just gonna get rid of this pink eyeshadow just so it looks more kind of intact together with my eyes. I think, you know, one or another, either it's a strong lip, either it's a lot of color on the eye. Oh, much better. Okay, so that my lip liner is done. I'm gonna move on and use the Pat McGrath Velvet Lipstick in color Obsessed. So beautiful! So that lip shade in Obsessed, it's quite warm. It also has a tiny golden particle inside. If you have a look up close, it's actually kind of reflects in a really nice goldeny shade. Now I paired it with this Limbos liner and they're not identical. The Limbos liner is much darker and colder in shade. You can see here and two together they they work perfectly so what happens is that around your lip you almost get like that extra definition because of the coldness and the deepness of the color and then in the middle it's kind of warmer and orangier tone which two together just pop your lips so much and the definition is insane i ah ah i'm just obsessed with this combo okay so let's remove this combo and show you my next one Thanks God for oily makeup removers. You can also see the sun came through. It's so beautiful in here when it's sunny. I'm gonna use a little bit of foundation just, just to overlay my lips. Cause you know, the red lipsticks, they tend to stain. So we'll get a true color. And the next combo I want to show you is the lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury in the color Walk of No Shame. And the lipstick from Lisa Eldridge, Velvet Enchantment. The lipstick is velvet again, really beautiful and very comfortable to wear. So these two together are almost matching and the liner is a tiny bit deeper in shade, which is always really good for extra definition. So let's have a look how these two look together. Now, this is not your typical in-your-face red color. This is much more muted. It's almost like in between the dusky, like a dusty rose with a bit of red and a little bit of brown tinge to it. So it's a warmer than your typical dusky rose um, color. But why I wanted to include this lip combo in this video is because on catwalk spring summer 23 we see a lot of red lips that are actually not in your face so it's a muted reds it's reds of similar color palette as this combo in here so for this reason i wanted to show this to to you and besides this is just a really beautiful reddish lipstick to wear so the velvet lipstick in enchantment from lisa eldridge oh, so pretty 
that um, velvet lipstick from Lisa Eldridge is really creamy, but it's also it's it feels like it's gonna stay on the lips for a long time, and it's also quite comfortable to wear throughout the day because it doesn't dry out your lips as much as as other uh, velvet lipsticks do. So here you go, guys. This combo is stunning. It's beautiful for evening looks. It's also beautiful for a day look if you don't wear much makeup anywhere else on your face for a very light coverage, glowing foundation, and just a little bit of mascara, and then just that pop of that velvet lip color is I don't know it's just so beautiful I don't want to take this gorgeousness out but I have to okay so my next lip combo is going to be party look the first lipstick is going to be Uncuffed from Fenty Beauty and I'm going to top it up with Carolina Herrera's red with kind of metallic finish this uh, lip tint from Fenty Beauty is very very pigmented it does not require the lip liner underneath if you've tried these before you know it's very long wearing formula and it's super pigmented so you kind of only have one go with it if you've done a mistake it's really hard to clean up it smells very nice not bad the applicator tip of this is really really comfortable it's kind of like a band shape in a few different places so you actually twirl it around and find that perfect part to cover an um, exact lip corner you can see literally in one go it's done it's covered wow my teeth look so white against that lipstick so this lip color is really really strong in the camera it also looks quite warm but in the reality i wouldn't say it's the warmest kind of red there is warm tinge to it but it also has the kind of a colder feel once this lipstick is going to dry and take on the lips it will be your kind of matte finish uh, for the matte lipstick, it's very comfortable to wear. It's very lightweight on the lips as well due to its liquidy texture to start with. You can use it on its own, but I want to spice it up a little. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this Carolina Herrera Metallic Red Lip Stain. This is not from my personal kit, so I'm actually going to be using this with the brush just because I'm using this on the models here. Once it dries, it goes like metallic, very beautiful metallic tint to it. So where is my lip brush? I'm going to pick up a little bit of the back of my hand and cover the middle part of the lips. So see what's going to happen. I don't know if you can see on the camera as much as I can see in real life, but this color is so beautiful. It's like that metallic that looks like it's almost like it's wet, but it's not wet. Once it dries, it's the same formula. So it goes liquid and then it kind of, kind of takes onto the lip and uh, reflects the light around. So it actually looks, looks metallic and um, really beautiful color. I'm going to apply on the top. Very, very nice. Really nice for a party lip. If you're going out, guys, at night, this is going to look so beautiful. My teeth look so white with these deep red lipsticks. It's unbelievable. Now, um, what I want to say about this Carolina Herrera lipstick, uh, besides the most amazing packaging ever, it's not the most long-wearing lip lacquer if I can say so. Um, I've used it in the past on its own and it doesn't stay on a lip really well so you, you must pair it with a really good waterproof uh, lip liner or any kind of a really grippy um, red lipstick underneath. On its own it's not the most long wearing product but when combined together with others oh, it just takes the le red lipstick to the next level. I feel so bad taking all of these lipsticks out just because it's so beautiful. Yeah, with all of these, you're going to need a really good oily makeup remover. Actually, if you're interested, I'm using the Ico in the blink of an eye. Um, I think you can still get it online, but somehow it's discontinued in most of the stores. But it's a very good oily makeup remover. You can see it removes super waterproof lipstick in one go. 
yeah. okay so on to my next lipstick which is from just be which is english brand it's a, a new brand on the market amazing amazing quality lipsticks so comes in two stages you can use them two separately or you can use them two together whichever way you prefer so one side is the liquid lipstick which dries velvet as well very long wearing formula very beautiful color and the other side of this lipstick actually comes off like this and you can just use it on its own as well that is your typical lipstick with a little bit of shine more like a luster finish also very beautiful red color these can be used exactly as i said on its own or can be combined together the shade of two colors is a little bit different the liquid lipstick is more deeper in tones and the lipstick itself is a little bit more like a, a brighter a tiny bit warmer uh, shade so what i like to do is to apply the liquid uh, lipstick first the dispenser is really comfortable um, to apply straight away. You can use a lip liner if you want, but I won't be um, using lip liner for these two because they're pretty long wearing, because this one is long wearing. The other one is a little bit more on a lustrous side, so it won't be as long wearing, but when combined together, it's a beautiful uh, combo that stays pretty well. In one go here on camera everything seems to come out a little bit warmer than it is in real life so at the moment looking at the screen the lipstick actually looks really warm in undertone but it's not like that in real life it's actually a tiny bit cooler than you guys may see okay so once once this lipstick takes onto the skin it turns from liquid into the velvet almost matte finish Mm, it's very lightweight and it's really comfortable on my lips. I'm gonna top it up with the luster side of this lipstick and I'm gonna just concentrate in the middle. Honestly, it just looks so good in a matte shade. Yeah, I mean, you get two in one. What more do you want? Yeah, these two together also work so well. So when you apply the second part, it becomes a little bit more moisturizing and a little bit more comfortable to wear on the lips throughout the day. Now, if you guys are like me, <laughs> if you suffer with um, lipstick transferring onto your lips, there is one very old and very good trick how to avoid this issue is when your lipstick is applied, if you take a thumb, so you take a thumb and you actually do this, and like this, you leave the most of your lipstick on your thumb. And you can do this a few times. Of course, you have to clean your um, thumb off first and do one more time. And like this, you remove the residue of the areas of the lips that actually do transfer onto your teeth. Okay, now I have to remove this gorgeousness as well. Ooh. I just feel like I want to go out after this. <laughs> my lips are stained now from all of these long wearing lipsticks so the last combo that i want to share with you is really trendy right now um, i'm going to line my lips with charlotte tilbury's lip liner in foxy brown they're gonna here it's a rich brown color um, and you know 90s trends are super super popular right now and a lot of girls are wearing brown lip liner around and then top the middle part with nudes or pinks but I'm gonna top it up with red which is also quite on trend right now so let's do this For this look, I'm going to leave the middle part of my lips liner free. And the lipstick I'm going to be using is a red color from Pat McGrath in the shade Forbidden Love. And I'm only going to apply this in the middle of the pout. Here. So now I'm, I need to take a clean lip brush and we need to merge the two together. I'm just gonna go over with a flat eyeshadow brush and a little bit of a concealer to clean off the edges because I feel like I removed a little bit of my foundation applying so many different shades. 
Yeah, and just to clean up the edges a little bit more because these parts they look good with a really good coverage foundation especially because of such a strong um, contrast in between the deeper brown and the red if you don't have enough foundation on it's just gonna kind of look wishy-washy here yeah that's better so this trend where lining with a brown liner is actually dragging from 90s you remember guys if you are a 90s child like me we used to wear a lot of brown lipsticks, a lot of brown liners. This trend from 90s is super popular right now. So you can pair that brown lipstick with almost any shade and you will be within the trend this season. So I really like this finish. What I forgot to mention about this lipstick, it's also of like velvet finish with a colder red tinge to it. And it's also it feels it feels more sheer on the lips than my other velvet lipsticks that I showed you today so combined with this liner it should last pretty well because this is again the liner from Charlotte Tilbury which is very long wearing and really waterproof um, this lipstick on its own again because it's so creamy and comfy to wear it won't be the most long wearing lipstick but when combined with a waterproof liner it should do the job just right I love it on my models for me personally I don't know I think I prefer a more traditional finish on myself however on other people on the models I love it it looks stunning it's very punchy it's a little bit like more on a grungy side less kind of your typical traditional red carpet finish. Now one more thing I wanted to add before I finish this video. I'm going to gloss this uh, combo up with the um, uh, transparent gloss from MAC. A little bit of that lip gloss on the back of my hand I'm gonna pick up with the lip brush. Oh I think it looks better like this actually. Mm. Ooh, now I like it. Hold on a second. This may be my favorite now. Oh, oh my God. Yes, I, I take it back. I wear it. I love it. Ooh, cherry lip. Oh my God. No, this is my favorite. I am in love. All it needed is just the gloss. That, that's it that's my favorite right which one is your favorite let me know in the comments I want to know oh my god this is so pretty I need to do this for the photo shoot okay guys thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed my little selection of the red lipstick combos let me know in the comments which one do you prefer which one would you wear or which one would you want to wear or do on your models or whatever you're doing let me know if I have inspired you to try any of these products um yeah and for me oh, I just don't want to take it out I think this is it mm this is it glossy glossy is back you guys know gloss is all over the catwalk right now and uh, any glossy oily textures are very very in so this glossy lip to finish off my video is just is just perfect all right guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment underneath i'm slowly growing and i'm very grateful to each and every one of you who watches my videos and leaves a comment underneath okay guys have a great week everybody and i see you on my next one